Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, we are here live. Uh, today's Saturday morning. Uh, so it's going to be a fun video for you guys. Uh, Saturdays, I reserve this time for like reaction video. Okay. So I saw a video from James Hopman yesterday. He made a reaction. Uh, actually, he made a review on a niche duo. Okay, niche duo. Uh, goodness, everybody done reviews last year or so. I don't know why James did uh, his review this late in the game. I'm not quite sure why he did that, but hey, uh, the fact is, if you don't know who James Hopman is, he's well known uh, in the coffee community. I mean, he is a legit, okay? He is a legit uh, coffee ex expert for sure. So, you know, we value his opinion. Uh, we do value his opin opinion tremendously, all right? He does great work. He makes awesome videos. So the interesting part about the, his video uh, yesterday, hold on. I think they posted March 8th. So what's the date today, guys? Hold on a second here. Today's, yeah, March 9th. So that was yesterday. Times go by so fast around here. So it's already March. And then, so here's a very interesting part of this video. So let me uh, show you what he say about the niche duo. Okay, well, I'm just gonna flip the camera back here for a second. Okay. So here we go. Really interesting. So generally speaking, I would say this tastes, well, this tastes kind of like a niche zero. It has a slightly more comical profile style. I, I was curious inevitably, and so I straight away went to my particle size analyzer and had a look. Now, okay. So pretty much what he's saying was, um, you get, uh, you get, if you guys are curious, for, uh, curious about the full video, just go check out his video. What he's saying was a niche duo, a duo means they have a dual, uh, they have two bird options, okay? You can go with the espresso options and also you can go with the filter options. What James saying was, uh, is an espresso option is, he cannot tell the difference between niche zero, I uh, have it right there, versus niche duo. He have a hard time telling it, all right? So, it's very interesting thoughts, okay? And let me know in the comment section as well. I mean, if you have a niche duo at home, I know a lot of my friends has niche duo too. Uh, but yeah, I, I wonder Bruce showing up today as well. Bruce has one, I know Amnir has one. They have both, okay, niche duo and, and you know what, I try both. I don't know what, I'm not quite sure what, flat and conical birds are, they're different, okay? They're, Definitely different bursts for sure. 83 flat versus uh, 63 conical. So, and so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so uh, let's make some coffee with a uh, niche duo this morning as well. So, uh, I made this coffee from DAC. It's called Alchemist. Uh, I made this exact same coffee yesterday with my niche zero yesterday. So I know what that tastes like. So. Uh, with the paper as well, uh, I, I add some paper too on the bottle. Give me, uh, give me that little bit more cleaner uh, tasting. A shot of espresso. So uh, let's brew with uh, espresso with DAC niche duo, and then let's talk about some more about uh, James's reaction as well. Okay. By the way, if you're joining us, make sure you join the live chat too. We got some few people watching this morning. Okay. Uh, I love Saturdays. All right, Saturdays really lay back. You can just hang out, brew some coffee. Okay, so this coffee is called Alchemist. Okay, Alchemist. And red bourbon. Uh, so this is the anaerobic process coffee. Great tasting of the tropical fruit, mango, ripe mango, okay, and the uh, ripe fruit. And let's say cocoa nibs. So it'll give you the nice chocolate uh, after taste. So this is really, really nice coffee, by the way. Uh, let's go 18 gram dose as well. Let's go with the 18 gram dose. Uh, by the way, who has, is, is anybody owns a niche duo at home? Yeah, let me know. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, niche duo is, think of it as a niche zero. I mean, most of you have a niche zero. I know some of, uh, some of you do. Uh, imagine just bigger, that's all. Okay, 63 to 
83 millimeter burst. Uh, everything is a little larger. Okay, that's about it. And the uh, comes to workflow is fantastic. Really easy to use. Uh, if you go with the decide to go with the both options, uh, they give you two birds. Okay, hold on, let me grab that too. All right. So some of you out there have both. Okay, so this is a filter option and also espresso. Uh, you can switch out in and out in about a minute. So very very fast. They design wonderfully. Okay. Yeah, they're designed fantastic. All right. And, uh, you know, it comes to workflow is great. I mean, I love the workflow. Uh, I wish they did an uh, I mean, option for hot start, okay? I'm just going to add some little bit of water. The hot start means... Hold on a second. Uh, if you turn the motor on, uh, start the motor and then put the beans in. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot do that. Uh, so this one has a safety feature. You know, they don't want to put the, in a hand, you know, put the finger in it and start it. So, safety feature, you have to put the lid, okay? Because they have this like, little bit of this button right here, side buttons, triggers it. I got my chopstick here, watch. That's it. So, if you really want to hot start, just press it, put the beans in it. You can do hot start as well, okay? Uh, this one has already has the empty popcorn too. You don't have to cover it. Anyway, so, so that's how it works. Oh, it smells great, by the way. And uh, I have this, uh, this uh, I don't know what's the, I mean, I got this one about three years, three, four years ago. This is a therapeutic device. And uh, I know a lot of physical therapists use this, but I use it as my bub uh, bellow, in a way. Get all the coffee beans out. Okay. I left two more beans here. Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on. Let's put the two more. So now we are done. Okay, here we go. Again, the, add a little bit of water, it does uh, reducing the static. As you can see, you don't see a lot of static there. It does work, okay? Just a little bit of water. Not too much though, okay? Smells great. Smells fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's do some little bit of puck prep and let's pull the shot. So I'm using the, today, the Gnome Core. Photo filter. Uh, did, this is a li little unique as well. The exposed side is it what I think last time I checked is about 89 bucks. I, th I think I better put the link. A uh, great thing about that is you can flat, okay, on the table. I mean, I like that about it. Okay, I'm gonna add some paper, okay. Uh, so this is the paper from uh, Good Brothers uh, Coffee. Uh, Brent's doing a lot of paper. So this one is it's called 809, 909, not 809, 909. This is extremely slow paper. So if you are, if you're a grinder, can, if you cannot grinder that you cannot push fine enough, use paper like this, it's gonna slow down your shot, It'll give you a better extraction. I'm just gonna add the paper there. Do not wet this, okay? You do not wet this uh, uh, paper before you brew it. Okay. Now let's do some little bit of WDT. Uh, does not work with the auto comb, by the way. The way it's designed, auto comb is not going to work. So you have to, by hand, okay, just use a regular WDT me method. There we go. Just not, you know, just you don't have to do too much. I know some people like to do the blind shaker as well. Okay, like so. Let's give it a quick temp. Okay, we should be ready. All right. 
Let's pull the shot. Okay, here I go, guys. Uh, let's go like a uh, 1 to 2 ratio, maybe 1 to 2 to 1 to 2.5. Shot looks pretty good. Let's go like 40 gram, uh, maybe 50. I want to go a little longer. 48 gram at 24 seconds. So. Uh, comes to grinder as you, very easy, you know, user friendly, easy to dial it in as well. I mean, if you're looking for something easy grinder to use, I mean, niche is you know, top of my list. The top of my list. All right, so this is the uh, uh, DAC. Uh, it's called Alchemist. Okay. Very fruit forward, very tasty. Again, I tried it with my niche zero yesterday with paper on it. You know, it's fantastic. So according to James Hopman, uh, he cannot tell the difference between it's how no, how to tell it. Let's put it that way. Okay, it's very hard to tell between zero and Flat, okay, niche dua with the flat bird. So let's give it a try this. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm just gonna cool it down a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna cool it down. Smears fantastic as well. Smears fantastic. Okay, meantime, let's see here. Okay. We got some, oh, we got some people joining us on the live chat. Just make sure you join the live chat, okay. Okay, we have somebody say one of you should do a live reaction to Hun live. Re you know what? Hey, that's not a bad idea, right? Yeah, live reaction to live reaction to. Yeah, there we go. It'd be a lot of fun there. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it'd be great. Okay, let's give it a try. Cheers. Happy Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. Okay. It's nice flat. Okay, I mean that's what flat bar does. Give you, the, but Nice Zero give you that very nice. Uh, give you a lot of fines, and so more mass fierce to it, and more round finished. But with this uh, burrs, you know, it's flat. I can definitely uh, taste uh, the separation. Uh, I can taste more the like each uh, tasting notes, right? Like mango or tropical fruits, I can taste that separately. It's great, okay? I, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what kind of beans uh, James was playing with. Because, I mean, I do value his opinion. I do trust that, you know, I know he and his staff go through a rigorous test before he makes that video. And, but, but same time, yeah. But, I mean, I can definitely tell the difference. Okay, between conical and flat, but it all depends though, okay? I mean, all depends on the coffee. Maybe this coffee I'm using right now is called Alchemist from DAC. You may not have a whole lot of difference. Uh, so this one does, but if you are drinking some other coffee, it'd be hard to tell the difference between niche and uh, duo, right? The flat and conical. So it's all depend on the coffee as well. So, I mean, that's why it's very hard. It's very hard to review. Okay, review that products because it's all different. Okay, uh, let's see here. We have a uh, uh, Wes asked me about the what do you think about the easy one? <laughs> easy ones are a great, great uh, grinder from Weber. They're like five grand, guys. Five thousand dollars. That's most expensive grinders out there, uh, besides Titus. So yeah, they're uh, they're a great grinder. I heard that, you know, I know James likes it. I think he has an Onyx version, it's called All Black. Uh, they're great. And, uh, and they do well with espresso and filter. But with, with the uh, easy one, 
you have a lot of burr options too. I think you have a couple of different burr options as well. One is good for a uh, filter, give you that extremely uh, cleaner tasting cup, and also wonderful for espresso, okay? So, and that they are using the blind birds that, you know, they're really easy to swap too. So, uh, if you like to swap birds, I um, mean, easy one is way to go. They are so easy. Just, you know, just remove the birds, put, put the, yeah, I mean, they're, they're great, okay? If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna buy one grinder, I think uh, easy one is top of my list. Okay, top of my list, but, man, who has five grand? Five, or, yeah, they are a lot of money, okay? Uh, let's go back to uh, James Hoffman's review. I mean, of course, uh, he done a lot of stuff. Particle analyze size as well. I mean, he done a lot. Okay, so definitely you should uh, check out uh, his video. Okay, definitely check it out too. But I think sounds like to me uh, he had a big hope. Okay, he had a huge hope uh, about the niche duo. I mean, you know, so do I. Uh, when they came out, I have a huge hope for this grinder as well. But I feel like they're a little late to the game, okay? Like year late. I mean, maybe they, uh, he, maybe you know, a uh, niche team, you know, maybe release that grinder maybe a year earlier. By that time, we have a timer came up with a 78 millimeter, 078, 070S. We have the DF, the Turing grinder as well. I mean, just explore it, uh, comes to grinder wise. Okay, explore it. So unfortunately, I feel like they missed the boat, I, you know, but, okay, here's a big but though. Uh, I know a lot of uh, niche uh, fanboys out there. Okay, you know, they love niche, you know, no matter what, so, for them, I mean, they, I mean, this is a great addition, right? We have a nice conical, and then if you if you wanna do filter, uh, filter does a really good job as well. Okay, uh, easy to swap it out. So, I mean, if you're gonna buy niche duo, I think I go with espresso. Okay, if you if you buy one one grinder, okay, if you're gonna buy one, if you wanna go with a niche, uh, go with a niche uh, duo because get the espresso birds. I'm talking about one birds, okay? Okay, instead of a brew birds. Unless you're gonna go with the both, but yeah. Because the espresso birds, you can do espresso and filter, capable. But if you buy the brew birds, the filter only, it's hard to do espresso, okay? It's, it's, it's not go fine enough. So make sure, if you wanna get one birds, I think I, I'm gonna go with the espresso birds, okay? And because the filter options, it's a little lack of burr options. You could add SSPs, 83 millimeter, but those 83 millimeter SSP birds are over like, what, 350? 385 for the birds? So yeah, they're pretty pricey. All right, well, very, very pricey there. Hold on, we have a Piatra versus Ogento with SSP. Light roast, oh man. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna go with the MP with the oat because simply, uh, I don't like hand grinder, all right? I mean, I don't like hand grinder, but if you like to travel a lot, uh, if you like to, you know, travel, you go places, I mean, obviously hand grinder is much easier to travel with than fellow Ogen too, but yeah. Uh, I mean, but at home use, I mean, O-Gen 2 with the SSP, MP, I think that's a better option. Okay, easier option as well. Uh, 58 millimeter versus 64, so yeah. I mean, O-Gen 2s are pretty nice anyway. Okay, uh, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. Okay. All right. For the, well, he asked me about the mini Bravo Vista Express behind you. Where did you, mini, mini one. What do you mean mini? I don't have a mini uh, Bravo Vista Express. Yeah, that's not a that's not a mini. I think I, I did, looking at the Legato. Yeah, I think Jonathan is asking me about the Legato, perhaps. Yeah. And uh, right next to it, I have uh, Bravo Vista Express. Okay. 
So that one is, uh, I had it for, that's my original coffee machine, okay? That is, that is original my coffee machine there. And the uh, keyboard say, James Hartman say, the bird almost have same particle size as a conical version. Yeah, I mean, that's very interesting. Okay, that's very interesting there. Conic, yeah. Same particle size. We are talking about the 63 conical versus the 83 millimeter flat birds. So, all depend on the beans too, right? Yeah, because you know what? Maybe I should do a side-by-side -side test maybe next week for you guys. Okay, let's pick out some uh, good coffee beans. Yeah, let's brew some coffee side-by-side -side and see uh, is there any taste difference between, uh, between conical and flat. Because even the similar uh, particle size, most likely you're gonna get the same tasting profile for sure because they're same size with the same coffee beans, so yeah. Let's see, a niche uh, conical was an originally, uh, original one with unique burrs. Okay, original one with unique burrs, uh, but duo can compete with the other, uh, other, okay, other ones. Okay, uh, it's not an original, okay, niche zero came out, right? It's not a unique burrs. They are using the mother, coney burrs, okay? Yeah, yeah, I believe there's Mars or Coney, the 63 millimeter uh, conical. It wasn't uh, unique to the, you know, conical area, uh, you know, that, you know, that segment, right? So it's not their own unique version of bird design. I know uh, Commandant has their own design, I believe, okay? And a lot of most conicals out there, they use Mazer. Even uh, 83 mil 81, even Weber, the key. I believe they're using their own version of it. Uh, uh, they're using the mother. Uh, recently, I heard the SSP coming up with the conical. Okay, I'm not sure which uh, bird design uh, they are mimicking, but yeah. Hold, hold on a second, uh, Mr. Rainbow said the tiny mini bra. Hold on a second. Ah, hold on. Okay, Jonathan is asking about this one right here. Yeah, this one, this, okay, I get it. So this one I got from one of my viewers, okay? This one I got from one of my viewers way back when. Wait, is it last year, I think? Yeah, he designed this, and he sent me as the uh, uh, Christmas ornament, yeah. yeah. I, 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 think, I think this is what you're talking about. Yeah. It's pretty cool, though, okay? It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, let's hear. Uh, Ken says, Sculptor 78. I heard some great things about Sculptor. Uh, okay, 70, 070, not the 078S, 078. But, uh, I, okay, so I'm going to be in Chicago next month uh, for a coffee expo. Okay, so if you guys are in the Chicago area next month, uh, I mean, uh, I'd love to meet up with you guys. But I believe the timer is going to be there. So I'm going to be definitely uh, testing that. I'm going to, you know, we're going to try. Okay, I'm going to make some videos at the timer booth for sure. Uh, look like uh, Shine, Bright, Shine Bright are joining us. Uh, that's my wife, okay? Say hello to my wife there. Uh, she's joining us from home. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't do my live streaming at home anymore. I do, but I don't, you know. Yeah. I'm running out of space at home, so hold on. Uh, we have uh, Evo, ev Evolving Brain say, I, don't, I, I, didn't understand, I didn't understand Hoffman's particle size distribution comparison. It looked like the same shape, just, uh, just with EG1 dialed it into finer setting. Interesting, right? Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't get that either. Okay, about the James Hopkins video. Because, I mean, hold on a second here. Because, uh, hold on, let me pull the, the particle size, okay, analysis. So, so let me flip this. So let me flip the, hold on. So this is a James Hoffman's the particle uh, particle analysis. 
So yellow represents the uh, niche zero. Okay, so that's the different microns. And then, so that's the easy one. That's picked out at 200 micron there. Uh, based on the value. That is interesting. But, but here, here's the thing about, uh, I think I know what James trying to do, you know, trying to measure something, right? Because uh, taste is a such subjective anyway. So I know he's trying to uh, measure, you know, particle size, but man, I mean, that, I mean, that's why uh, re uh, ribbon wing coffee gears are so difficult. You know, I mean, they're a little tricky. Let's put it that way. All right. And you know what? Just go by your taste, guys. Okay. I mean, you know, you, you know, we can watch videos all day long about the reviews, but it's nothing like, okay, it's nothing like uh, you actually try for yourself. Nothing like it. I mean, if you, have, if, you know, one of your friends has a niche duo, you know, in their house, Go visit them, you know, bring your favorite coffee, try it out, okay? Maybe that's the grinder you want to get, okay? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, we can compare all day, but ultimately, I mean, you know, you have to go by your taste anyway. All right, okay, and then we have uh, age size might be the same. Age size might be the same, similar. Okay, burr pick is different. Yeah, easy one, let's find. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So I mean, so that's a little difficult. All right. That that's why, you know, making uh, Ruby videos are a little bit tricky. You know, it's not as easy as uh, seems to be. Uh, that's why James makes it. You know, looks everything very easy and simple, but it's not. I, I bet you he spent a lot of time on it. You know, and then. For me, I just make a reaction video of that. But you know, I've been using Niche for a long time. Okay, I mean, I do love the workflow as well. I love the workflow of Niche. They're a great grinder. Uh, niche Zero is fantastic. If you're into espresso, they're fantastic. Okay, but 83 millimeter, the Niche Duo. I'm um, if you're a fan of Niche, uh, this is definitely worth getting. Okay, the price is you know attractive. But just under six hundred, uh, seven hundred dollars, right? Five hundred forty-eight pounds. Okay, so just uh, around seven hundred dollars for that grinder. Okay, but if you are in the market for a grinder for seven hundred, uh, now you are DF eighty-three V sitting right here. DF eighty-three V, DF eighty-three plain. Uh, you know what, if I will, I pay extra money to get the DF-83, all right? And then we have, what, 078, 078S for that price range. I feel like I'm missing out on some other grinders, but yeah, I mean, again, the grinder is very uh, competitive market, okay? Okay, hold on a second here. And uh, uh, someone asked me, which machine Bravo is? My favorite machine from Bravo is the Pro, okay? And my least favorite, yeah, I say, uh, man, I think my least favorite is the Impress, okay? Yeah, the Impress. I'm not that impressed with that grinder because I'm not a big fan of automatic temping, right? The man, you know, manual, the assist temping, uh, guide temping, you know, you know, whatever you want to call it, but I, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I prefer just manual. Okay, because you grow into that coffee machine anyway, because uh, I do want to have control over my temping and also, yeah. But fact is you don't have to use it too, so. But I think I like the thermal jet from the uh, Pro as well. So Express is a thermal block. Impress is a thermal coil. And the uh, Pro is a thermal jet, so in between, so. I think I'm, I think if you don't want to spend too much money, I go with the Express. If I'm going to pick one, I think I'm going to go with uh, Pro. Okay. Shout out to Orant, who made the Bravo, uh, Bravo Express famous. I'm not sure about famous. Bravo has no idea who I am, so yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so Ahmed just got the GP6. Yeah, uh, if you're into filter coffee, uh, filter hand grinder, uh, GP6 is quite nice. I know a lot of big fans. For uh, some reason, uh, Easy Presso does not sell GP6 on, on Amazon. So I'm a little bummed out, but hey, it's all right. Uh, by the way, I think it probably is Express and Pro still on sale right now. So make sure to take advantage of it. Uh, I better put the link uh, when I'm done with it as well. Okay, I'm gonna, I better put the link too. So anyway, I think we are good for this morning, good for Saturday. Uh, we're going to have some fun next week. Uh, we are getting some new copies from, actually, uh, Brent from Good Brothers uh, just launched peach co-fermentation coffee. You know, I do love peach. So, yeah, I cannot wait to try that coffee coming. Uh, it'd be interesting. All right. Okay, we have, uh, let's see here. What is a dread, dread nuts? Uh, dread, dread nuts? I'm not sure. Where is that? I'm not sure where is that, but yeah. Okay, my Pro gets delivered today. Excellent. D is getting the new Pro today. All right. Yeah. D is for... Uh, I must say, do you recommend Puck Screen? Uh, do I recommend Puck Screen? Uh, yes and no. Okay. Uh, I do like the Puck Screen because you're going to get a dry Puck. Okay. All right. As you can see, I use the puck screen here. Here, let me show you. So, so you're gonna get a dry puck, okay? The plastic paper on the bottom. So, make sure poly filter is clean. That's when I like it. But at the same time, they get messy easy. So just make sure clean it. Okay, make sure clean the uh, screen well. Okay, puck screen uh, often. That's possible. Okay. Hold on a second here. We have a, we have a dread, uh, dread. It's the same, okay, same of our coffee business in dread nuts. Okay. Uh, coffee is that not to be dread. Okay, there we go. Makes sense. Okay, dread nut. There we go. I like that. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, we have uh, someone ask, best flat grinder under 300. Uh, I already have a C40, okay. It's a Commandante C40 with, uh, you know what, Piatro, a DF54 is only 230 bucks. Okay, DF, DF54 is like $230 and Piatro is a 58 millimeter, but it's hand grinder. I think they're pushing what, three or 400 bucks. So more expensive, but it does great uh, with uh, filter, okay. Amazing job with the filter coffee. If you go with the Pro, and then if you go with the other model, just plain on one, you can do espresso as well. But if you try 58 millimeter hand grinder with the espresso, you're talking about two, three minutes of a grind time, okay? I don't care how good the coffee is. I think I prefer electric, but I mean for filter, this makes you know, extremely clean cup coffee. So, if a coffee is your hobby, this is an amazing time to be. Okay, this is an amazing time to be. They're awesome. Okay, they got so many great gadgets and tools. Man, you're gonna love it. Okay, you're gonna love it. Uh, does the DF50 for Mexico coffee? You know what? I mean, they make all good coffee. Okay, I'm think about the DF54 community, right? Uh, mo most likely, you don't want to spend too much money. Uh, you don't want to spend too much money on coffee either, right? So more like medium to darker roast coffee, a classic Italian style, dark, you know, chocolate notes perhaps. I mean, they're fine. They're fine with uh, DF54. But once you're getting into lighter roast, more complex city, uh, that's a different story. Okay. Uh, you want something, you know, 64, I prefer 64. You can grow into it as well. You have uh, so many different bar options too. So, I mean, if you are one and done, okay. If if you want to buy one grinder with one coffee machine, I go with the 54. Okay, I don't want to spend too much money on it. Spend 230, you're you're done. You're done for a long time. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning, and I'm gonna see you guys 
next time.